Here we are in section 4.1 with the answers to 25 through 32. Um, just start off number 25. Here we have GF all raised to the seventh power. That's going to be in slow motion GF, 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 seven times. Well, by the commutative property, we can switch these two places and we can switch those two places until all the G's are together and the F's are together. So we're going to have it looks kind of like a distributive property, but it's not multiplication over addition or subtraction. It's this exponent attaching to everything in the parentheses. There we go, g to the seventh, f to the seventh. Same thing will happen here. So we have eight to the third, d to the third, eight to the third, eight times eight times eight gives us 512, d to the third. Here we have six x to the negative five. So we can put that there and put that there. So we have six to the negative five, x to the negative five, negative exponents, put everything on the bottom. So it's one over six to the fifth, x to the fifth, which is, um, well, that's a big number. Punch that into your calculator, six to the fifth, and that's seven, 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 six, x to the fifth on the bottom there. Number 28, this goes in here, so we get four to the third, x to the negative six, y to the negative 27. Now notice when these hits hit exponents, they multiply because you're taking an exponent to an exponent. But this is not multiplication, this is not four times three, this is four to the third power. So four to the third power is 64 over x to the sixth, y to the 27th. And there we have it. Number 29, so this negative three goes on that and it goes on that, so we get two to the negative three power, over c to the negative 24 power. That's 2 to the third on the bottom. That goes down and then that goes up. c to the 24th. So that's c to the 24th over 8. Good. Now you could see this in a different light. You could say, oh, I know what the negatives do. The negatives make things flip. So that's a c to the 8th over 2. And I've used the negative, but now it's to the third. And that goes to the eight, and that goes down to the two, so we have a c to the 24th over a two cubed, two times two times two, which is eight. Either way, you get the same thing, but some people just like to use up that negative sign first. Number 30, this two is going here, and this two is going there, so we get m to the eighth over n to the negative six. Negative exponents carry it up to the top, so we get an m to the eighth, n to the sixth, and we're good. Number 31, this goes into everything. So we get a nine to the negative four power. K, that's negative four, negative five, this is exponent to exponent we multiply, that's a positive 20 power. J to the negative 12 over L to the negative 48. So take care of the negative exponents. We have a K to the 20 on the top. And let me see, this guy will go up as an L to the 48 on the top. We have a 9 to the 4th and a J to the 12th on the bottom. And 9 to the 4th, oh, I think that's kind of a big number, isn't it? Yeah, K to the 20th power, L to the 48th, over 65, 61, J to the 12th. Good. And number 32. Okay, this cubed is going to go, oh, wait a second, I'm going to simplify these j's first right in there. So we get a, um, this is a j to the eighth on the bottom, j to the fifth on the top, so that means we're going to have a j cubed on the bottom, three over seven j cubed, and then this h is going to move up to the top, all to the third power. So now when it goes in, we get a three to the third power is 27, h to the third power, seven to the third power, and j to the third to the third, that's three times three is nine. And there we go. Good.